Hello, Frugal Force. Once again, Captain Frugal reporting for duty. And I'm going to do something once again. I know I'm a little late to the game here on this subject. and It's already been covered a lot already, but I want to give my take on this. And this is the, once again, Joe Glass incident. He has a tweet that says, Bloody hell, YouTube makes it really hard to report users for harassment and abuse of their own guidelines. Not helpful to victims at all. Okay. Now, first of all, I want to point out what he's doing is he's trying to get YouTube to give strikes to get somebody off YouTube. Now, granted, uh, he's going after diversity in comics. I'm not saying diversity in comics is 100% innocent. I'm not. I don't always agree with everything diversity in comics says. But bearing that in mind, I don't think he's doing things that uh, are severe enough to require to remove him from his platform. Because what happens is, when people, some of these people, when they disagree, instead of having a conversation or a back and forth or proving their point with their words, they would rather remove your very platform to speak. They are trying to silence you, not allowing you to have your opinion. So if you ever go against these people, you're not allowed to have an opinion. And you might go, well, so what? So what's the big deal? Well, part of the big deal is, is Joe Glass is notorious for spinning things he's not honest he doesn't give the whole truth and if you don't believe me by all means go to where he works one of the sites he works for bleeding cool and read some of his articles they're very slander slanderous themselves they, matter of fact they're harassing he, I, in my opinion he harasses comic fans if he doesn't agree with you he thinks very ill of you which is part of my point he's a hypocrite why should he be allowed to have a platform and speak ill of people when he doesn't use any facts matter of fact he's very misguided if you don't believe me watch one of my videos on it or and even better yet read the articles yourself you will see he doesn't really offer any facts it's all conjecture and pr projection on his part so what he's doing is the very thing he does he's projecting onto others and then trying to get them to lose their platform to speak he put i just tried to follow your procedure to report a user who re routinely harasses others and was asked to tell the victim to report it now first of all if you're the victim and you feel you're victimized sure report it but he was not the victim what he's trying to do is get a mass amount of people to gang up and report him. How is that not harassment? I ask you that. He's harassing others. <sighs> so he, he once again plays the victim game. Joe Glass loves to play victim. When I called him out on a recent article saying, you know, where's your facts and things, he never once proved any facts. He never showed anything. His, his response pretty much is, well, 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 and block. <laughs> and so then he blocks you. Now, for example, just to make a point, this is a tweet that Joe Glass has made, like Dateless Wonders and Serial Rapist, most likely. What does this picture smell like? Now, um, so in other words, if you were a Trump voter, you are, in his eyes, he calls you a rapist, most likely, and a Dateless Wonder. Once again, hypocrite. For him, he can call you and vilify you for anything, and then he will make up a reason to vilify you with tons of projection and no facts and try to get you to lose your platform. So that's my problem with Mr. Joe Glass. I can't send him anything to question him on this because, of course, last time I did ask him where he got his facts, he just blocked me in return. So I want to point that out to you. My goal is not to deplatform Joe Glass. I'm not saying go and report him or anything of that nature. What I'm asking you is look for yourself. Think about it. So go ahead, look at his articles, and let me know in the comments, do you see any proof of facts for anything that he says, or is he being slanderous himself, like I'm claiming? Look at my other video, too. Did I, what, did I mistakenly state things about him? No, I'm not attacking him, I'm not calling him names. I'm telling you, as it is, be very careful of this guy. He has an agenda. His agenda is not equality. His agenda is superiority. He wants you to listen to him and abide by him. And if you don't agree, he will do everything he can to silence you. Does that sound familiar? He is an SJW. All right. Well, I want you to let me know in the comments. Do you think I'm misguided here? But please, first, do your research. Look at a few of his articles and you tell me. Did he actually do any research? Do you think people like this should be deplatformed? I personally think everyone should have an open platform, but be very cautious. 
If anything, I'm just wanting to let you know, be warned of this guy. You can't trust his articles. Do you think you can trust his articles? All right, as I said, I wanted to keep this article very short. So I hope you enjoy this. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Also, if you really do enjoy my content and you want to help me, what you can do is subscribe to my Vidme channel. You can subscribe as little month or you can do the free method too as well. And you can also tip because there I do run ads, whereas I don't run ads on YouTube. I have the views and everything, but I don't like the way YouTube treats comment, uh, content creators. So I don't monetize here. So that's the way to help me is go there. Also, um, you can check my other articles and things out at thehenchmenslounge.com. So once again, thank you for taking your time to listen. And until next time, keep it frugal.